we're uh, on a pier at Stuyvesant Tower, Stuyvesant Cove. It is a pier where you catch a boat and uh, we just missed one by a matter of literally seconds. So we got a little time and what do you do when you have time and you're trying to roam around in New York? I got hay fever. <laughs> 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 okay. So we're gonna uh, continue our reading. We're in the Canto for chapter sixteen, text twenty. <laughs> Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Alright Alright The text ready This king being uniquely powerful and heroic will have no competitor <coughs> He will travel around the globe on his victorious chariot holding his invincible bow in his hand and appearing exactly like the sun which rotates in its own orbit from the south in this verse the word yataka indicates that the sun is not fixed but is rotating in its orbit which is set by the supreme person of godhead this is confirmed in the Brahma Samhita and also in other parts of Srimad Bhagavatam. In the fifth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, it is stated that the sun rotates in its own orbit at the rate of 16,000 miles per second. Similarly, from Brahma Samhita states, Yasya Yanaramati Sambrita Kala Chakra. The sun rotates in its own orbit according to the order of the Supreme Personage of Godhead. The conclusion is that the sun is not fixed in one place. As far as Bhutan Maharaj is concerned, it is indicating that his ruling power would extend all over the world. The Himalaya mountains from which the sunrise is first seen are called Udaya Chala or Udaya Zut. It is herein indicated that Bhutumaraj's reign over the world would cover even the Himalayan mountains and extend to the borders of all oceans and seas. In other words, his reign would cover the entire planet. Despite some serious power, what kind of power? To be reigning over the entire planet. Mm. Some countries act like they do that now, but... Like it was my last chance. That's what I'll say. Some countries were trying to do that now, did you say? Well, they act like they do. Uh-huh. I thought it was the cutest. But, yeah. Take care of yourself. Have a good day. So... Another significant word in this verse is Naradeva. As described in previous verses, the qualified king, be he King Prithu or any other king who rules over the state as an ideal king, should be understood to be God in human form. According to the Vedic culture, the king is honored as the Supreme Personality of Godhead because he represents Narayan, who also gives protection to the citizens. He is therefore Nata, or the proprietor. Even Sanat, whoa! Even Sanat and Goswami gave respect to the Nawab Hussain Shah as Naradeva, although the Nawab was Muhammadan. A king or governmental head must therefore be so competent to rule over the state that the citizens will worship him as God in human form. Wow, that is the perfectional stage for the head of any government state. <laughs> So that's really interesting. Uh, probably many of them these days think they're God and kind of act like they're God. They have, feel like they have godly power, but they don't act like God in quality. Is one thing. Um, also another thing is that um, uh, often we just hear about the spiritual master being treated as good as God, but now we're hearing that also the king is Naradeva, and he is um, human who is like 
who is like a deva, like God, and that he should um, be worshipped and respected as such. But I think what comes across very clear is that that means that um, uh, he has to imbibe the qualities that warrant that, and it's not that he forces people to worship him just because of a position of power, but that he, um, what is that, what is that saying? That we don't command respect, we don't demand respect, we command respect. So, uh, just by being who we are, people respect us. Yeah. Uh, text 21. When the king travels all over the world, other kings as well as the demigods will offer him all kinds of presentations. The queens will also consider him the original king, who carries in his hands the emblems of club and disc, and will sing of his fame, for he will be as reputable as the supreme personage of Godhead. Mm. Oh. Yeah. As far as reputation is concerned, the king Pritu is already known as the incarnation of the supreme personage of Godhead. The word Ani Rajam means the original king. The original king is Narayan or Lord Vishnu. People do not know that the original king or Narayan is actually the protector of all living entities. As confirmed in the Vedas, Eko Bahu Namyo Vidadati Kama, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is maintaining all living entities. The king or Naradeva is his representative. As such, the king's duty is to personally supervise the distribution of wealth for the maintenance of all living entities. If he does so, he will be as reputable as Narayan. As mentioned in this word, Taj Yasal, Vitu Maharaj was actually carrying with him the reputation of the Supreme Personality of Godhead because he was actually reigning over the world in that capacity. Interesting. <laughs> okay, text 22. This king, this protector of the citizens, is an extraordinary king and is equal to the Prajapati demigods. For the living facility of all citizens, he will milk the earth, which is like a cow. Not only that, but he will level the surface of the earth with it the pointed ends of his bow, breaking all the hills exactly as King Indra, the heavenly king, breaks mountains with his powerful thunderbolt. There's no purport here, but <coughs> it reminded me of my reading this morning in Life Comes From Life, where Prabhupada was saying that, or no, uh, uh, Sri Damodar Goswami was saying that scientists have proven that mountains grow. And then Prabhupada, and then they were asked Prabhupada, does that mean that um, there's a soul in the mountain? And Prabhupada said, yes. <laughs> he said, because in the Bhagavatam it says that also the mountains are personalities. And they fly. <clears throat> and that they fly. So some people say when pigs fly, we might say when mountains fly. Okay, text 23. When the lion travels in the forest with its tail turned upward, all menial animals hide themselves. Similarly, when King Prithu will travel over his kingdom and vibrate the string of his bow, which is made of the horns of goats and bulls and, and is irresistible in battle, all demoniac rogues and thieves will hide themselves in all directions. Interesting. What was that? I was seeing something the other day that was talking about how some, some government overthrew some person who was considered a rogue, but as soon as he did that, it just invited about 10 other rogues in to fight and buy for his position like that. Purport. <laughs> it is very appropriate to compare a powerful king like Prithu to a lion. In India, Kshatriya kings are still called Singh, which means lion. And thus rogues, thieves, and other demonic people in a state are afraid of the executive head who rules the kingdom with a strong hand. There cannot be peace or prosperity in the state. Thus, it is 
most regrettable when a woman becomes the executive head instead of a lion-like king. <laughs> In such a situation, the people are considered very unfortunate. Oh dear. Oh, I think Margaret Thatcher did a lot of good. So, what you got to say about that? I just said Margaret Thatcher was a good woman. <laughs> Who was the other one? Teresa. Teresa May. Teresa May. Was there a third one? Yeah. <laughs> was it? But yeah. Who was the third one? She lasted. Um, was it less than a month? There, they put a, a. Was it a cabbage? Some of you in the UK remember they put a cabbage. She put a cabbage on a table, and the cabbage lasted lo longer than the, <laughs> the last female there. Oh dear. Yeah, I don't remember her name. Yeah, we don't remember her name. I thought there would have been three. There was three. Yeah, but um, but we can see also that uh, the Queen, she lasted a long time. Of course, she didn't really have sort of full responsibility for her. Well, Queen <coughs> Victoria, hmm. the Queen Elizabeth I, who was first the longest reigning monarch, and then I believe Queen Victoria and then this current or last queen yeah so anyway we obviously pick up a, pick up on that point <laughs> India's also had a few different yeah people, but, India and I but um and it's talking specifically about kings here but kings yeah it's the men bygone it's ages. The men. yeah and I guess in general of course there are uh, many examples of Kshatriya like women who were like maybe in some instances more bad back than, uh, than uh, some of the men that had come before them. So like that. Twenty four, twenty five. Yes, no? I'm gonna have to call it an early night or day. Because my hay fever is I'm not really like focused if you know what I mean. Okay, there are a lot of people around us. No, I mean it's a, yeah, but it is feeling quite All right. itchy eyes. So from New York City, we're signing off now. Thank you very much. Uh Glorious Ashila Prabhupada and Srima Bhagavatam. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.